Hi, thanks for stopping by. Today we have for you a review on the sinister looking aluminum kamikaze beast back in play. It houses the standard M8 3 male mount but does not come with the male boat. This will fit any M8 compatible polishers and will automatically fix the Mark III shroud rubbing and avoid the need for the washer mod. There's nothing like the beast on the market. It is elegantly CNC'd and crafted. It is said that it takes an entire day to CNC and hand finish the plate. Let's have a few moments to admire this beauty. Alright, the beast weighs in at 142 grams. Rupert's stock plates at 124 grams. Hex Systems aluminum plate at 126 grams. And Shimate's new HD plate at 146 grams. More on this one in the future videos. It's basically a heavy duty non flex plate without going for aluminum. The focus here is the stock 124 grams Rupert's plate versus beast 142. We'll be testing its power slash RPM stalling and see what kind of vibration numbers we get with the beast. As there's a 30% weight increase of 18 grams, and we all know even a few grams. A switch between foam and microfiber can distort the balance. The power slash stalling will be once again tested with a 2.5 pound load, and here it is. It's interesting to see there's not much difference for speeds 4 to 6, all within the margins of error. Where the difference comes in are the low speeds 1 to 3. Speed 1 sees a healthy 17% increment from 263 RPM to 317. A 317 RPM can translate to another polisher's speed 2 or 3 already, as a 300 RPM with just a speed 1 is very impressive. Speed 2 went from 369 to 408, and speed 3 from 436 to 482, both around a 10% increase. To achieve a 10 to 17% increase in efficiency while drawing a similar amount of power from the wall is a welcoming sight. From speeds 4 to 6, we didn't see any increase in RPM. But a slight decrease in power draw of 2 to 3 percent, about 5 to 8 watts. Please note we are only testing with 2.5 pounds, because as low increases past 2.5, the difference may widen. Also note, this is very important. RPM is not the entire story. Imagine polishing with and without a foam interface, a thick pad versus thin. The RPM will be the same, but real power transfer from the machine to the panel is drastically different. There's certainly a tangible reduction in polishing time. Or let's just say the plate gives your polisher an extra speed. You can feel it right away as soon as the pad touches the panel. Good power, sure, but it's smooth and balanced. Now the vibration numbers. Foam first. Slight increases of 0.1 to 0.2 meter per second square across all speeds. With speeds 5 and 6 only went up by 0.1. It's expected to go up slightly, knowing how well Rupus fine-tuned their polishers for their OEM equipment. Now the microfiber. Speeds 1 and 2 registered 0.6 versus 0.2. By the way, anything under 0.8 to 0.9 is comfortable and commonly found on the other entry level polishers. It's 1.1 to 1.2 and above that will give some arm shaking. Speed 2 to 3 sees an increase, and speed 5 to 6 is buttery smooth. Interesting to see the extra 18 gram on the beast has minimum impact. When the weight is nice and close to the polisher, the lesser the impact. And finally, a word of warning, this plate packs heat, literally. Make sure you let the plate cool down in between, or the glue that holds the Falcro together will start to separate and come apart. And there you have it guys, that concludes our review on the Kamikaze Beats plate. Thanks for watching, bye bye.